Okay, we got one more criticism sucks for the road. And this time, I think it's my first criticism sucks ever about a fighting game. Uh, or maybe there was fighting game comments before in the past. I made so many of these videos, I, I literally forgot. But I, I think this is the first one covering a fighting game. And we're going to talk about Tekken 8 being trash. Uh... I, I did play the demo for Tekken 8, and I, I fought against a couple of people. The online uh, stress tests, when that was confirmed, I managed to get a code from someone, get into that, and I, I thought it was pretty fun for what it was. It was prime, good-ass Tekken. We're going to see what this guy has to say. My name is Def. Let's get it. What's up you guys, it's your boy Delta and welcome back to another video. So today, I will be ranting on Tekken 8. So Tekken 8, I was going to pre-order this game, but after playing the demo and watching other YouTube videos, I'm so happy I won't be pre-ordering this game. Now you can say that 2024 is starting off rough for your boy man, but to be honest, I knew I wasn't going to like this game. Plus, you do have three games coming out right after this. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash, and Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. So please don't count this as an L, bruh. You got three games that I'm looking forward to coming out right after this. And I knew I wasn't going to like Tekken 8 because I hate Tekken. Always have, my guy. When I owned Tekken 6 on my Xbox 360 when I was younger, I never touched it. Okay, let's stop right there. Let's stop right there. Let's go a little bit back. So... Um, the weird thing about these statements is that you claim you hated Tekken, you never really liked it that much, you make all these claims, but you were almost in the driver's seat for pre-ordering Tekken 8. Let that sink in. Just, just let that logic sink in for a minute. You already knew that in this long-standing franchise, that you severely hated an entry in the Tekken franchise and it kind of warped your perspective a little bit. And you decide in the eighth installment, in the eighth entry, you were going to pre-order the game at one point, despite what you said. It makes no sense, buddy. This is the problem with your video. It, it initially, what, what compelled you, what changed? in this long-standing franchise for you to say, oh, well, uh, I, I don't like Tekken, I never did. It was trash to me automatically, but for the eighth entry, I almost got past the barrier of the pre-order point. So, so you're gonna, are you gonna hate buy the game or what is the deal? This is where the confusion starts to seep in into this video and I'm only about almost a minute in. 360. Now let's go back just a little tiny bit here because we're coming up on another statement. Tekken 6 on my Xbox 360 when I was younger. Now I let's go back a little bit more. Now right after this. And I knew I wasn't going to like Tekken 8 because I hate Tekken. Always have my guy. When I owned Tekken 6 on my Xbox 360 when I was younger, I never touched it. Never touched it, bruh. I remember when I first got Tekken 6 for my Xbox 360. I played it once, never touched it again. Tekken 7. Now, I used to say that I liked Tekken 7, but I never touched it. And there's a reason for that. What the fuck? <laughs> why, why is he going into these weird, like, conflicting statements? Like, it, it starts off as, I played the game, I never touched it, then I played the game, and I liked it a little bit, and then I hated it. Like, and then I never touched it. It's like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth on the same conflicting statements. Did you actually just play the game, feel like it wasn't for you, and then dropped off with the franchise? No, because if you felt that way, this video would not exist. It would not exist. It's a meaningless yapping video for 10 minutes when you your own brain cannot decide if you like Tekken or not, which is why you're going out and buying these games. You bought Tekken 7, right? <laughs> you bought that game. You bought it. If you played it, if you're claiming that you played it and you used to like it, you played it to some capacity, unless like Tekken 7 had like a demo or something, but 
you're saying this right now and the problem is your brain is preemptively buying these games or wanting to buy these games and maybe it's a case of FOMO maybe there's a fear of missing out but you are actively participating in purchases for Tekken a franchise you readily hate right I don't get the logic it makes no sense to me because I always knew Tekken was boring. Tekken 7. It's boring, but you bought Tekken 7 and you were about to buy Tekken 8 at $70, my guy. Pre order almost confirmed. <laughs> if it's boring, why are you still buying them? What, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what happens when I think a game is boring? I drop it. It's, it's, it's not even on my radar no more. I drop it, I'm done with it, let bygones be bygones. If it has a fan base, they can consume that content. Another man's trash is another man's treasure. It was just one of those fighting games that I will play here and there. But compared to all the other fighting games that I love, Street Fighter VI, uh, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> uh, Mortal Kombat 1. Oh man, dude, Mortal Kombat 1 is this generation's Street Fighter V. I, I, I cannot stress enough how much, it's a fun game, but it's a disappointing game overall. Like, where, where do I even begin with Mortal Kombat 1? It's lacking features, lacking lobbies, the fact that some dude would not learn how to take a break on a video game. So because he was almost in the hospital, they decided to change the first to three and rank matches to first to two. And in a fast pace assist based fighter, first to two is garbage. I I'm sorry. That's like putting uh, first to two ranked in MVC and not putting it as first to three. Like, come on, bro. It's so it's so annoying like first the three for mortal kombat one was perfect it was fine for what it was you're putting first the two ranked in an assist base fighter it's just not fun to me i'm 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 gonna die on that hill first the three was perfect in mk1 and no one is gonna tell me otherwise what else they didn't nerf smoke yet he could do like five thousand smoke ports they didn't buff Scorpion. One of your poster boys in this game is mid. Sub-Zero's mid. Like, the, the balancing and stuff that people ask for is all over the place. Like, what the? What are they doing? And that's not even beginning to get into features like all these microtransactions. I, I know WB is full of it, but we're talking about fatalities. Seasonal fatalities you have to buy. We're talking about costume packs for like almost twenty dollars like what the bruh like it, I, I think it's even singular costumes that go for that amount as well and they have announcer packs and it's off the chain it's off the chart at least i can say with tekken 8 most of these costumes will be available day one at launch for you to fuck around with and customize your guy and not have to pay like an insane amount of money in order to make my character look different. You don't have to grind 24 seven in invasions mode just to get one differing outfit or costume color. You could just go to the shop in Tekken, find a differing outfit in Tekken, play treasure battles for a shorter amount of time i assume in tekken and you're all good like the what they do in mortal kombat 1 is straight up predatory like like wb is straight up predatory dude at times and i'm just like bro you got to admit that some other fighting games have done this distribution of content much better we, we can't put MK1 on that pedestal. Tekken 8 clears it on customization, and it's just a fact, which is why it's funny to point this out at this distinctive section of the video. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighters stuff. I like fighters, yeah. Well, at, least he, at least he cooking with that. Like That's probably the only thing he's cooking with this video, though. 
stuff like that it's always been bottom tier tekken has always been at the bottom man i always hated tekken from tekken is bottom tier but you know lots of people love tekken well i, I know it's his perspective and everything but still like the like if we if we speak on the stats like statistically speaking tekken has been like with us for a long time riding the waves like ever since i i would say once tekken 3 became this sort of um what do i call it a killer app for playstation when, when that came out the world was shaking, bro. Like, I, I, bottom tier, I don't know where you've been. <laughs> they had their own Street Fighter 2 multiple times. Uh, Tekken 3 and Tekken 5, absolutely fantastic games. So, uh, look, maybe it's just a thing of it's not your cup of tea, and I understand. I understand. It's not your cup of tea. Does it mean it's trash to everybody? Absolutely not the combos to the characters etc to the play style like everything about Tekken I always hate it <laughs> the characters like, the characters are so cool look at fucking Jin man Jin is this man is decked out Kazuya I can't say the characters are bad come on man like what the nah man they they are awesome in my opinion like the the characters okay maybe maybe the combos you're like getting scraped I understand but still like come on <laughs> Oh man, this video is funny. Always been at the bottom, man. I always hated Tekken. From the combos to the characters, etc., to the play style, like everything about Tekken, I always hated. Tekken 6. No I mean, all this says is a lot of Johns and oh, I can't handle this 3D fighter, which is, you know, that's, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Never touched it. Tekken 7. Never touched it. Now, you say you never touched these games, but. You say you bought Tekken 7. What does that mean? Why are you constantly like contradicting yourself? Like, did you play it or not? That's so annoying. Like, did you play the game or not? Oh, I never touched it, but I actually did touch it uh, back in the 360 era. Like, why do you keep saying this? It's one of the most frustrating things about this video. Did you play it more or not? Did you actually like buy it or not? You're making one thing contradict into the next one. And it's the most annoying thing blatantly in this world. Like you are not cut out for making content or videos because your points make no sense. I'll take in eight. Social media links are in the description. So whatever, man. It's like okay, uh so to my channel real quick. <laughs> oh man, dude. Oh man. I will save that for the end. That was a real quick shameless plug, but whatever. This review is subjective, but I know people don't give a shit about that. So take it eight. I mean it's subjective is still trash, but you <laughs> you can continue. I mean, it's not like people can't make bad faith arguments even having a subjective opinion you're entitled to your opinions but it doesn't mean that everyone is always right i keep stressing that enough like not everyone is right about a particular franchise and how they talk about it and with you you can't even dictate and make up if you bought a game or not so i mean am i supposed to take you seriously probably not after playing the demo i was bored out of my mind so let's start with the graphics. I was bored out of my mind, but I almost pre-ordered Tekken 8. Graphics and work our way up. The graphics are fucking fantastic. They are. I love the graphics. You can't hate on the graphics. If I said that the graphics suck, bruh, I would be lying. Now graphics, they're a visual thing, so I can't really say much on that. But the character You just did. <laughs> uh, oh my god, it's too easy, man. The models look amazing. The graphics, they look flawless. Kazuya, he looks well detailed on that menu. And I love when fighting games just look well detailed. Let's go to the gameplay. So the gameplay is so, it's so generic. It is. Bruh, it's just another boring ass Tekken. Again, he almost, I'm going to stress this again. He was almost in the driver's seat for getting these games. Like, and, and buying them and, and still playing them despite saying that the gameplay which gameplay is king is the most boring and generic thing about them <laughs> like again you you consider mortal kombat one to be a step above this and brother like 
again, that is this generation's Street Fighter V. It couldn't be any more lacking. And you're and you're saying this about Tekken, like. <laughs> and I I love Mortal Kombat One. Don't get me wrong, but I do think it's a disappointing game. I do. The thing I always hated about Tekken. This is why I never touched Tekken Seven, even though I claimed that I liked it. What? He, he he doesn't know what he's saying anymore. Even though I claimed that I liked it and I never touched it, but somehow I played it. Like what is go what? The Bro, this is why this video is like so downvoted because in my honest opinion, he cannot really find a median ground for what actually happened in his mind. Like it, it feels like he's making stuff up as he goes and it's real bad. Like I I've never seen someone so schizophrenic over the idea of playing something, saying it's boring liking stuff about it clearly and then now it's trash like i'm gonna be perfectly honest with you this video is pure dog shit this is the most bipolar video i think i ever watched from a creator and that's saying something honestly like this video shit uh i, I gotta be honest this is dog shit like this is this is terrible not every creator is great and this is a prime example this is a terrible video I've always hated Tekken as a franchise. But we know, but I bet you're going to go back and say you played it and almost pre-ordered it in the driver's seat, therefore not making any sense to begin with, dude. Because the combos are always just so boring. Like, uh, take a look at these combos. Take a look. I have a feeling when he complains about combos like this, somebody probably mashed his shit in online, and therefore that's why he hates combos and Tekken, because somebody completely just beat him up online. Like, I'm <laughs> just saying, like, <laughs> somebody got him in the corner, they were doing bounds, wall juggles, and everything, and it's like, oh, well, you know, this game's trash now, because <laughs> I was getting my ass beat by the better player right it just comes off like that to me look bro look look at that flashy swag right there look at that shit jen going in look at that mm, it feels so good to do combos in tekken mm, mm, bam love it uh carry him to the wall beat him up stomp him look at that you just basically sold me on the game thank you very much i will be purchasing this day one thank you for your contribution to society with showing me how cool this game looked i'm going to sleep i bet you are after getting that ass beat so hard online all he's doing is selling people on the game what is the point of this clip Heat rush. I'm going to sleep. Same thing over again. <laughs> like same thing. <laughs> I bet he's gonna play it this time. Watch. Come on. Look at these swaggy combos. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> Yo, Nina uses her gun in combos. Oh shit, you know. Oh, that looks so cool. She uses a gun. Thank you. I'm going to sleep. All right, you've you've played that enough. Stop, please. No, let's skip this. It's gonna be the same thing. I'm going to sleep, dude. He plays it seven times. What the fuck? I know you're obsessed with Family Guy, but God, bro, Family Guy fell off too. Damn. Tekken has always been that slow, sluggish ass game to me. Tekken is slow, bro. Bro, no way, no, no way he said Tekken is slow, like, one of the most methodical and, and, and super fast-paced, like, fighters I've played. You got to be high. There's just, there's just no other explaining it, like, you, you got to be high, bro. Like, what the <laughs> He said it's a slow fighter, it's like, I don't know, do you, do you, like, live on like methamphetamines or something for you to well not methamphetamines because i think that's too fast for you anyway uh what was that drug from fucking dread like whatever that is it's like he injected that into his veins and every game he plays it's like it's moving in slow motion like <laughs> oh my god it always had this 
this stupid lackluster fighting style that i hate there's nothing exciting about taken to me nothing if you compare it to all my but i almost bought them though uh, clearly i had some excitement i don't know if i played them or not like <laughs> come on man <laughs> oh this video's dog shit my other favorite fighting games like Mortal Kombat 1, Street Fighter 6, Dragon Ball Fighters and stuff like that. I'd argue that if your favorite fighting game is Mortal Kombat 1, I played Mortal Kombat 1 and I said I like Mortal Kombat 1 despite being disappointing. I would say MK1 is still slower than Tekken. So, so what does your eyes like, I don't want to know how your eyes work. Do you see in like 30 FPS? Is that it? <laughs> Are you the fabled person out there that finally sees in 30 frames per second? <laughs> like, what's go like, what's going on for you to say that Tekken is slow, but MK1 isn't a little bit more slower? Like, huh? Huh? <laughs> you, you could say probably like something like Fighter Z is like a little bit more faster paced, but bro, come on. Like, this is just bullshit like this is the worst like fighting game video i've seen recently and that's saying something like that then you know what the hell but more on that in a second let me get this out the way first tekken with that being lackluster right with tekken being lackluster for me with the combos and stuff like that and etc you do nothing to make the game stand out now I you do nothing to make the game stand out it's, it's not like the game has been seen as one of the pillars of 3D fighting for the longest time. Oh, it's no way that happened. No fucking way, bro. I love how Street Fighter 6, now I will admit this, the combos in Street Fighter 6, they don't impress me that much. They don't. But there's a reason Street Fighter The combos in Street Fighter 6 doesn't impress you. But the combos in Tekken 8 also doesn't impress you and, and they're doing a lot more on screen. There's there's like I, I don't want people to think I'm throwing shade at Street Fighter 6, but that's a more slower and methodical game. You know, you could do combos, but it's not on the level of these uh fast paced flurries of knocking people into the wall like Tekken is. Uh so it's quite interesting to see someone say that they appreciate a game with less combo variety, but they're also saying a game that has a lot more combo variety also doesn't impress with the combos. Make it make sense. Fighter 6 is one of, if not my favorite fighting game of all time. At least they do things to make up for it. Street Fighter 6, bruh, with creating your own creative character and everything, my guy. Fight <laughs> so he's just like stuck he's like well uh i went to world tour and that's fine but that's about it <laughs> oh my god this is this is why i make your criticism sucks it, it's for amoeba brains like this it, it's for amoeba brains like that it's it's just oh my god man I, I I'm sorry to I, like I'm very sorry to all the viewers who have to endure this with me. Just this massive stupidity. It's just oh my god. Fighting with these creative characters, learning different techniques from these street fighters, and using them and adding them to your creative character, so you can use your creative character. And you know, I'm gonna go back a bit. <laughs> I'm gonna go back a bit here. But that move that Jen just did was awesome. Like, look at this shit. Created characters. Bro just yapping, but that move where he just put Kazuya in the air and he had like a death grip and he just like completely crushed him with energy. Oh my god, that shit's awesome. Different techniques from these street fighters and using them and adding them to your creative character so you can use your creative character in those fights. Add in a little Street Fighter RPG section, make things stand out in your fighting game. But I mean, I, I like World Tour, but it is just eye candy at best for creative fighters. I mean, the thing I look forward to in fighting games is the fighting. Yeah, you know, I I love all the doodads and the customizations and all that, but uh, I look forward to the actual fighting, and I don't use the user created um battles against each other anyway. Uh, so I am fighting with your Chung Lees or Kens traditionally because that's what I look forward to in fighting games. I I don't mind things like 
what is it? Tekken Force. Tekken Force is great, and it seems like Tekken is adding a lot of modes. So, I mean, of course, there's going to be that variety there with certain games. If anything, the game that you like the most, which is Mortal Kombat 1, lacks more features than Street Fighter 6 and Tekken combined. And that's saying something. Like, dude, you got to call a spade for a spade sometimes. All I'm hearing that Tekken 8 is doing is this little avatar arcade thing like oh you could create your avatar and run around and play in the arcade all right give me a second i'm going to debunk this but i just need a little bit more information here see see i knew he was being disingenuous he said there's only the avatar modes and the avatar battle but clearly they have super ghost battle tekken ball uh, in-depth customization mode and also there's the story that you're playing as well you got to count that as content because it is content in the package um you know and there's also a unique story as your character grows during arcade quest so you're leaving things out of the table you're leaving things off the equation for tekken 8 which is once again disingenuous it's not sincere dude stop that it doesn't make sense, right? Let's continue on. What? Really, that's the only thing you're doing to make Tekken 8 stand out? They took no, there, there's a lot more that I just listed off the official website, which could be solved by reading it. Street Fighter 6 and ran with it. You know, like I said before, with the uh, Street Fighter RPG section, creating your own characters, learning different moves from those Street Fighting characters, and building your own character's moveset with it, with your own creative character. Have well, there is a tips and replay section in Tekken 8 where you can learn and get better and progress and the same for arcade quest as well there is modes and offerings like that and they have tutorials as well all of this could have been solved by reading but you did not read any of the features in tekken 8 having this little street fighter rpg mode you know what i'm saying like that's fucking dope that is fucking dope bro but oh i get to create my own avatar and just run around this is such a bad faith argument. Holy shit. I, what? That's the only thing you got going for it? That's it? <laughs> He's going to home in on that point and never bring up the other features. That is so bad. It, oh, they added a heat system. Cool. Now, here's the thing. Oh, my God. Oh, this video is giving me a brain aneurysm. Here's the thing, right? Okay, so you didn't go the Street Fighter route. You're not doing anything to make your game stand out, right? Okay. He keeps saying they're not doing anything to make the game stand out, but he just keeps focusing on one mundane point. Oh, well, they added a heat system, and he's not bringing up anything else. Like, bruh, you're making the game seem one note to fit your agenda of doing so. That's what you're doing, and it's bad. See, I wouldn't mind that if your game was actually fun, if the game was actually dope. That's what I hated about Tekken. I'm going to show this compilation that I put together. Take a look at why I will always hate Tekken compared to other gods. Oh my god, his mic cut out. <laughs> if they saved us. Oh Jesus Christ, you saved us from this epiphany of stupidity. Thank you, God. <laughs> Oh my god. I, I I I know that he probably fixed it in post, but the fact that I, I just wish I just wish deep down in the heart of my soul that his mic remain muted for the rest of this man because I would have been so fucking happy if he just stopped talking like <laughs> I just would have been so happy. Oh my god, dude fighting games i've played for example mortal kombat 1 before i get to that compilation let me say this other than the invasions and mortal kombat 1 mortal kombat 1 doesn't do anything to stand out but what so 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 he says mk1 did nothing to stand out but he's also saying this about tekken and he's also not bringing up the other modes that tekken 8 has huh and the other features as well but yeah when it comes to his favorite fight it's like oh it don't stand out 
but I, I, I like it more. <laughs> I, I, I like it more. It don't stand out. It's not really that spectacular in my mind, but uh, Tekken is not. And there it is. There you have it. It's like there is my disingenuous thought process right on the table. But there's a reason I love it because of the combos because of the of the fighting style which i'm about to show in this compilation I, that i'm not gonna rag on too much i i feel like when you look at a fighting game there are certain fighting games that will appeal gameplay wise and there's others where it's like you play them and you you never really have mastered or learned even though I, I feel like this guy's opinion the things that he prefers are not real legitimate constructive feedbacks or critiques on the franchise like he says that the combos are hard to do and they're not too appealing and he says the game is generic but there's people that could do easy wave dashing movements they could do ewgfs like nobody's business electric wing god fist get people in the corner and do massive amounts of damage with no care in the world uh so compared to those people that could easily execute you prefer to easily execute in mortal Kombat. it's what you prefer but it doesn't mean that tekken is bad or people can't do it in the first place uh i think you have some sort of skill issue to me personally there's some skill issue going on and if you can't fundamentally remember which tekken games you actually played or not then i think that becomes a big problem to your actual validity of the tekken franchise and where we put your opinion where it like lies into any sort of face value or stock because once again you don't even know if you're getting certain games or not so how can we take you seriously which i'm about to show in this compilation but yes i love how you don't do anything to stand out like street fighter like i just explained and on top of that your gameplay is so lackluster i, I think these guys are doing a lot to stand out look at this gameplay they're fighting in the streets and going crazy and shooting double beams and uh air grabs air combos and all shit like that i mean i i see it all now you know juggles this is the tekken flair it's the tekken standard that we're seeing just evolved in certain ways with certain moves and having that baseline gameplay that tekken people were familiar with I'm about to show this compilation while while i will always hate tekken and i will always treasure and love the fighting games that i love this is why tekken will always be in my bottom tier if you treasured fighting games you would at least respect tekken showing that you have a lack of respect for fighting games if you don't acknowledge how other people really just love this series and probably i hate to say this because it, it sounds elitist but you know people who probably know more than you do and and your preface is like you know just a small puddle in the island that is tekken check this compilation out okay we're skipping this uh, showing clips of other games that he likes doesn't really bring his brownie points up in my personal opinion so let's listen to the rest okay you're showing cool games beside each other like what am i seeing with these clips like come on how long does this last oh my god for most of the video so it's like i'm just gonna end my point on showing a bunch of flashy fighting game combos together <laughs> therefore i hate tekken with a passion right Look at that that's cool like again what are you showing me that's not interesting that's a bad point if your point is to show me and and sell me on something interesting but your point is bashing said thing and it's not really being conveyed well then you lost the plot and i think you lost the plot on making this video in the first place oh my god he's still going oh my god. I, I need to atone for my sins of watching this video <laughs> bruh bruh blood is the only one in the building that thinks like tekken gameplay is boring holy shit so yes with that being said man now customization i would give him that i love the customization oh so he does notice there's other features in the game 
<laughs> when he was saying earlier, there was only like the avatar battles that was in here. So uh, you can just tell he's not being sincere. So graphics customization, I will give them that much, right? Tekken will always be bottom tier to me. Tekken, compared to all the other fighting games I played, it will always be bottom tier, bro. It will always be like slow, sluggish, lackluster. I he calls it slow and sluggish, but the gameplay he showed was fast and furious. It makes no sense. I hate the fighting style of Tekken. I hate the combos in Tekken. Compared to all the other fighting games I play, Tekken. Well, you know what? I hate this video. Here's a dislike. You you can have that. <laughs> oh man, that was awful. That was like going through, you know, Guantanamo Bay and being tortured and having brain torture. Uh, going through that fucking video. Holy shit. Let's go to the comment section. Saying that you don't like the game doesn't make it trash. It's simply not for you. Gee, I can't believe I'm listening to the opinion of a guy who historically hasn't liked the fighting game series. He says he hates the new installment. Such validity. What a great video. Um, so basically, this video is about you not liking Tekken, not about Tekken 8 being trash. The funniest part about this is between all the fighters you listed, none of them have as much combo variety as Tekken. You're not a fan of combos. You're a fan of cinematics. Uh, well, you know, I don't, I, I do agree there are some combo potentials, but I, I, I like you, that comment is weird. I, I kind of agree and disagree with it at the same time. I, I do think there is execution in all of those combos, but in terms of death and, and, and layers and how to set up for Tekken, I mean, it, it is complex. Tekken is complex. When people try to diminish that Tekken is not complex, that's when you stop taking them seriously. That's how I feel about it. But I'm not going to also shit and poo-poo on other fighting games as well, where it also requires a bit of execution to set up. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. If you never liked it, you never will. Tekken 8, here I come. Let's see. Uh, bro yap for 10 minutes let's see let's go down Tekken is not for everyone that's true that's true it's not for everybody but the way this dude is talking like holy shit man, it doesn't look cool it doesn't look fun to say it's trash for not fitting your taste is dumb especially if you give people time with the game they'll find cool combos i mean true it's you know these people are making it look cool tekken sucks why look at it somebody who has never played tekken and that's the thing too like i said he's super bipolar if he's played the series or not like he keeps going on between oh i played it i bought a few i don't like this one i almost bought tekken 8 like are, are you super on the fence or what is going on there like i don't that's one part i had like severe issues with the video like make up your mind did you actually play these or not do you actually hate it and just jump off the wagon long ago and you'll be fine? Bygones will be bygones. Like, I, I think he's just one of those weird, overly opinionated people that never really could string out cohesion on uh, the ire that they feel about a game to where a lot of their feedback is not making any sense. And the comments reflected, the people reflected, this is an overall terrible 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 video and honestly i don't even know how it has likes at this rate but hey uh it, it's it's dog shit <laughs> it's just not gonna lie i'm gonna be straight up this video is dog shit uh comment below let me know what you felt about this whole tekken 8 is trash video and the rebuttal about it what did you feel about what this guy was saying comment and Tell me your thoughts as a fan of the franchise. I think he was speaking a whole lot of nothing, in my personal opinion. And some people do that. Some people are built for that on this website. And it's built to make fun of because sometimes your criticism sucks forever. I'll see you guys next time. Later.